Hey everybody, Kyle here from Smoking Beaver. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make your own homemade edibles using vaped weed, or AVB it's called. That stands for Already Vaped Bud. I'm not going to go too far into it. If you guys want to see more videos about vaping weed, Already Vaped Bud, let me know down in the comments. First, you're going to need some Already Vaped Bud. For anybody who's unfamiliar with AVB, this is weed that I put in my... Uh, dry flour vaporizer so it doesn't use oil it uses actual ground up weed i'm going to measure out just a little bit of this stuff so i can show you guys a more accurate uh, measurement if you're wanting to make these at home if you want a little scale like this for yourself they're pretty cheap on amazon i'll put some links down in the description for you now i've had these types of edibles a couple times and i know i usually will try to aim for around a gram and a half to mix in for my own personal dose it all kind of depends on how much you vaped it also, what type of weed you have. I would say on average though, this is probably the color you're gonna be aiming for. So you'll see here, we have about a gram and a half. The scale just turned off. It was at 1.46 grams. That's good enough for me. As you can see, that's quite a bit of plant material we're gonna be ingesting. So you're gonna to wanna to grind it up and also have some water on hand because plant material has a lot of fiber in it. And if you don't drink water after eating a lot of this, you're gonna have a pretty difficult time taking a shit. So if you have like a mortar and pestle or something like that, you want to be really fancy, you could grind it up that way, maybe even in a blender. But I'm just going old fashioned with a spoon and a cup here. All right, so now that we've crushed up our weed, it's a little more powdery. We'll move on to our base. I'm using a cookie. Um, this sort of an edible made with already vaped bud is often called a firecracker. That's probably how you'll see them explained online. And usually they use like graham crackers. That's probably where it got its name from. So you're gonna wanna scoop up some Nutella. Spread it out nicely there. You're gonna want a nice wide base because there is a lot of plant matter going on top of this. Now when I'm making these, I like to try my best to scoop out a bit of an indent in the middle so that the AVB kind of sits in there. But I get mixed results when I do that. There we go, that's not too bad. Now we're gonna just dump the AVB on top of this as best we can and keep it all sort of contained. I might have been a little overzealous with the Nutella here, but what can I say, I like chocolate. I'm just trying to get sort of a nice flake over top. I'm just gonna indent the middle some more. We can get the rest of the AVB on there. And as you're probably thinking, this is not gonna be the most delicious thing in the world, but you can be pretty creative with it. Really, anything that's fat, soluble, you can use in this. Now there we go. One heaping pile of Nutella covered in sort of coffee ground flavored plant matter and a cookie underneath for good measure. So here we are with our firecracker monstrosity here. I'm gonna give it all in one go. Done. It is currently 8.22. I'll show you guys the time just so we know. We've got a public record here. Wow, that does not show up nicely on camera. There we go, 8.23 now. So edibles are gonna hit everybody at a different time with a different strength. Um, they're pretty hard to nail down to an exact science. So I took it at 8.23 and honestly, these things don't take long to hit me. When I grind them up really fine and chew them really well, Sometimes I can start to feel the effects almost within like 45 minutes to an hour. I'd say as a rule of thumb, probably give it at least two hours and then you can kind of reassess, see how you're feeling, maybe if you need to do more next time or you could chop up a little, try to save the high that night. But yeah, I'd say two hours is probably a good benchmark. In terms of this video, I'm gonna pause the recording now and start again when I start to feel the effects of the edible. We'll get a, a little timestamp going when that happens and that'll give us an estimate. And we're back. It's been about an hour, it's 9.37. I took the edible at 8.23. Something else worth mentioning is that I personally find AVB edibles wear off faster. But overall, this is just another reason why vapes are so cool. You get to avoid the combustion and the smoke that obviously traditional smoking produces. In exchange, you get a smoother vapor and you can also use the weed after and get high for a second time off of the same stuff. That's awesome. Something else that's cool is edibles tend to hit differently than uh, traditional smoking or vaping do. So you get to kind of experience both sides of it. I don't know if you can tell my eyes are getting red at all. It doesn't look like it, but it's starting to work now. And uh, yeah, it's only really gonna go up from here, probably kind of slowly. And then, yeah, it might, it might be over by four or five hours if I'm lucky. 
but who knows? It's always kind of a unique experience. I feel like when I zoom out, you can tell that it's hitting me, but I'm not sure. Thank you guys for watching this video. I really appreciate everybody commenting, giving it likes. And if you're new to the channel and you think that you like this type of content, consider subscribing. It really supports me in the channel, shows me that it's uh, something worth doing and that people are enjoying. Anyway guys, I think I'm gonna go enjoy the rest of my night. Hope you guys are doing the same. Remember to stay safe out there, be responsible, and have fun. Nice!